Okay, so I just wanted to take a uh, second to update um, anyone who's watching on the issues I was having with my S1H and uh, the Apple Mac uh, OS Catalina upgrade on my mid-2018 uh, 15-inch MacBook Pro. Uh, I want to especially thank John uh, Roke and Sasha Painter, who, uh, bo or Panter, who both responded to the previous video stating that they were having the same problems. Uh, certainly, I think the last video, which I'm going to take down simply because I think some of you had a good point that you know, it's inaccurate to say this is a problem with the camera itself. Uh, it's, it's obviously an issue with the Mac OS upgrade uh, to the Catalina and, uh, and not working properly with the long GOP uh, formats, with, which I believe Sasha pointed out. Um, you know, the all intro, which I'm recording on right now, this is the Panasonic S1H with the uh, Canon 50 millimeter F1.2 lens uh, adapted via that, uh, that MC21 adapter. Using the remote app, which actually works great to uh, autofocus, I've got it in manual focusing mode, and then I just tap on the screen to autofocus at the beginning of this video. Um, and so it, that actually works really well with the adapted glass not in continuous autofocus, but just for something like this, a talking head sort of piece. But anyway, back to the original issue. Just to recap, uh, no problems with the S1H in any of the video codecs before I upgraded to Mac OS Catalina and upgraded Final Cut Pro. Then at that point, uh, my computer just started crashing every time I would try to edit these files. Uh, it would not just crash Final Cut, but it would crash um, uh, DaVinci Resolve as well, which is not my primary editing app. Sasha had a great point. He said he wasn't having any trouble with this in the All Eye codec. So this morning I got up and I shot some All Eye. I'm shooting this in the 422 10-bit uh, All Eye codec at 23.98 frames per second, and it works perfectly. It renders perfectly and everything such as that. So it appears that it is the long gop codec that is causing the problems and causing it to crash, or I should say it's OS, uh, Mac OS Catalina's use of that long gop uh, codec. Now, what's interesting is, uh, is another poster pointed out the fact that he wasn't having a problem with his iMac, but was having a problem with his 2019 MacBook Pro. So it may be just that certain MacBook Pros when upgraded to OS Catalina are having problems with the Panasonic S1H long GOP format. Um, and I've had two other people correspond with me that they've had problems with their, their computer crashing. So hopefully this is something that both Panasonic and Apple can work with uh, to be able to get that uh, up to date and to make this camera work better with those different uh, long gop codecs. Once again, all eyes working fine. Additionally, I did try to uh, see if my Fuji GFX100, which also shoots in all eye and long gop, had issues. So I recorded some video this morning in the long gop format. No issues with that and Mac OS uh, Catalina uh, Final Cut editing. So it appears something specific to the long gop codec in the Panasonic S1H. Uh, as opposed to another camera. I tried to shoot with my GH5S to see if that also had an issue, maybe something isolated to Panasonic cameras, but uh, the battery was dead in that. So I wanted to get this video out there to correct the misconception that I, I put out on my previous video that this was an issue primarily with the Panasonic cameras. It's really not. It's an issue with OS Catalina. Uh, specifically appears on 15-inch on MacBook Pros. Uh, and that long gop format of the S1H. So hopefully Panasonic, Apple can work with something to try and update this and make it something that's much more usable and functional. Until then, I'll be shooting on this camera with that all eye format. Thank again, thanks again to the uh, two guys who posted uh, earlier on the response to this and were having similar problems and helped resolve this. Anyway, great camera, autofocus issues aside, uh, just disappointing when it doesn't didn't work with the Mac OS, but I completely understand and agree that it's a Mac OS issue that needs to be worked through because nothing changed about this camera, only the upgrade to the Mac OS. 
Thanks for watching. If you're having problems with this same sort of thing, leave a reply down below uh, and hopefully that'll indicate to Mac and Panasonic that they need to get together and work this out.